What's good guys, it's Sam here, and I wanted to give an update on the Osterine um, and what is going on with my research. But before I do that, make sure you press that red button, that says subscribe, and that bell notification. It's kind of like Santa Claus every day in your phone. It's just YouTube and my face notified every time I post a video. So with that being said, let's get into it. Um, Osterine MK2866 is a research compound for not for human consumption, like don't do dumb shit, um, don't, don't do what I do, but um, that being said, <clears throat> I've been researching with this compound for um, I think since mid-October. Uh, I still have um, some left, however, I decided to stop taking Osterine. Um, as of, I think it was yesterday, um, I was taking 10 milligrams prior to my workouts. And yesterday I decided to stop doing that. I am also, the and the reason I decided to stop taking that is nothing wrong with Osterine. Osterine is my favorite uh, compound to research with. It is the, best from my standpoint of, of researching with these for over five years is that you get the best oh just like overall feeling from them in terms of the just a sense of the well well-being I don't personally notice tremendous strength gains I don't notice tremendous um, increases in my lifts or the um, like muscle density or pumps or anything crazy I don't notice crazy shutdown. Um, I have never tried to take a, a PCT, uh, post research. Um, I've never had any issues. I've been researching with, um, MK2866 for a number of years now. I think 2013 or 2014 is the first time I used Osterine, probably late 2013 probably used it 8 to 10, 12 times. I, I have no idea. I've never done any um, the P, any PCT, never had any issues. Uh, it's not like I'm losing a tremendous amount of muscle afterwards. Don't notice it at all. Um, you do notice a little, at least I do, I notice a little bit of a fuller feeling um, in terms of being in the gym. Generally speaking, I feel like, so however, whatever type of pump you might normally have, maybe 10 to 30% more depending on the day, which leads me to believe there's probably more of a, um, a just like a placebo or just like that day. You know, you'll some days you'll have days where you'll just have a crazy pump. So that's why it leads me to believe that it's not necessarily the Osterine um, that is helping with the pump that I'm getting. I'd, I'd feel slightly fuller um, just on the daily in terms of the muscle bellies just being a little bit fuller, but not substantial. 15%, maybe 20%. On average, I would say just across the board, you just, uh, it's hard to describe. It just is, is a good sense of well-being, well-being. And I don't have, like, uh, some people around me might think that I just uh, am completely full of myself. But, like, I don't have an, a, uh, an issue with confidence. And you, um, you get even more confident. You get, like... At least I did, and 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 just an overall, just you just feel good, but not like a euphoric. Like if you were to take, um, say, Adderall, and you were to snort some Adderall, or just take like a copious amount of Adderall, you get high off of that. That's an amphetamine salt. It's like, it's not that type of feeling, right? Or if you were to smoke some weed, right? You get high off of that, but you probably feel pretty good. But it's, it's just a, it's a different feeling and it's difficult for me to articulate that clearly in, in this video in terms of just the overall sense of well-being increases every time that I've researched with Osteri. That has been constant across the board. In terms of the pumps and the strength, 
a little bit, not much. Um, with the strength, I would say barely any. Uh, with the pumps, maybe a little bit in, in terms of possibly with the vascularity, slightly, but again, again, it's not that much. It's in like, you know, 10 to 20% range and it's not every day either. Um, all those, the, the, the strength is going to, in my opinion, either going to get more of an effect from a much larger um, dosing for your research or um, better fucking training and diet. And uh, that's actually the biggest factor, I believe, that there's so much low-hanging fruit that people just don't do anything about in terms of uh, in having a better puritized training program or um, just there's so much opportunity with the actual training and from from a strength standpoint, and then f from a body composition standpoint, there's a tremendous amount of low-hanging fruit. Just from a diet standpoint, that like so many people just want to take the fucking easy way out, and um, and those are the results you get. Like if if you want to say look like aesthetic from like a uh, if you were to define that as being say like a. Instagram model or like somebody on the cover of a magazine, that's not going to happen with SARMs. Um, that's going to happen through the constant um, work you put in, in terms of your diet and in terms of your work. Yes, it might help some. And if it helps up here to like keep you on track to actually do the work in terms of your diet and continually going to the gym, right? Like you have no issue probably going to the gym. It has far more to do with the, um, the diet for the vast majority of people. Plus that's just like 70% of the issue anyway. Hey, I'm getting fucking off topic. Anyways, I stopped Osterine. Um, I'm still researching with, uh, MK677. I'm still researching with RAD140 and I am still, um, taking my, um, doctor prescribed, doctor prescribed, um, testosterone blend 250 milligrams weekly. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Don't, um, I don't know if it's a good idea to, to continue to leave, uh, sources down below. So if you, uh, have questions, just reach out to me on Instagram. It'll, it'll be the first link in the description. It's just at sam.stolt. If you like this video, press that like button. It tells YouTube to show this video to other people and it helps the channel out. I'm documenting my journey of getting to 100 bucks a day online, telling you what I'm doing, how I'm growing the channel, updating you with all the analytics of how it's working. Um, so if you want to check out the channel, check those videos out. Or if you just want to press that like button, it does help the channel out. Also, I'm telling you where I'm making my money online. So, uh, excuse me, I have a series on that right now. It's currently with Amazon Associates. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. Or if you don't want to check that out um, and you just want to watch these videos, fucking awesome. I appreciate you so much. But there's a link for Amazon in the description, which means that how that works is if you have anything to purchase on Amazon, like don't fucking buy anything you don't need, right? But if you were going to purchase something on Amazon already and you want to support the channel, if you click on my link and go to Amazon and purchase whatever it is that you were going to purchase, I get a small portion of that. Not much. Um, and if you watch the other videos, you see exactly how much um, I'm getting from that and how I'm doing that. But it's a very small amount. It essentially just takes a small piece of that profit that Amazon gets and gives it to me. Um, it doesn't cost anything more at all. And I don't, um, I, I, I think a, a fiscal responsible frugal way of living uh, tends to be um, more enjoyable from, from my standpoint. So I wouldn't recommend that you spend money that you don't have or you don't need. Um, if you have aspirations to do other things or if you um, want to retire early or if you have other goals. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for future videos and I will talk to you soon. Peace.